Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really, really excited because Unity just released their new augmented reality and mixed reality application called Mars. I'm really excited about it because you guys know that for a long time we had issues with, you know, testability, being able to test in real world environments. And with this tool, you can do something like what I'm showing right now behind the scenes, where you can do plane detection, you can add constraints, you can add rules, you can do basically as much testing as you can with your content before you actually push it to the device. So I wanna show you uh, basically a preview of how the tool works. I haven't used it a lot, so I'm not an expert yet, but I'm going to be giving you a lot more videos about it. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that you need to do is go into unity.com products Mars, and then they give you the options in here, like if you wanna try it for free, which is what we're gonna be doing. You can click on it, you can also determine you know, how many users you need. I'm going to use the trial version. That's the version that I already signed up for. But if you want to pay month to month, you can do, you know, 50 a month. Or you can do, I think if you do this option, it's going to be, you know, 600 and that will cover you for the entire year. So what I'm gonna do is, I already downloaded, I already did this. So just, you know, continue on. Once you, once you go through this process, it's gonna take you to something like this. In my case, I send it to my Gmail. So if I go to my Gmail account, and look for, I think I forwarded it from another account. There we go, and you can see that I got, you know, the download, and if you click on it, it just gives you a Unity package. So it's gonna go ahead and do it one more time so you guys can see it. And that's gonna be the Unity package. It also says here that it's going to, you know, automatically renew as soon as the trial ends, and they're probably gonna charge me the, you know, the $50. So once you get that downloaded, the other thing that you need to do, I'm just gonna close out of my email. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a, open up the Unity Hub. And in the Unity Hub, I'm just going to create a placeholder for the project that we, we need to create. I'm just gonna do, a, of course, a 3D project. In this case, it's going to be, let's go ahead and call it Unity AR, we can just say Mars demo. And then I'm gonna put it in that folder. All right, guys, so I got the project created. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the Mars Unity installer. It comes up with an installer, it has the c -sharp project, the ASM definition, and also the readme. It's gonna go ahead and click on import. All right guys, so this is now done. Let's go ahead and go into a window. And if you go into a window, you're gonna see this Mars option. There are multiple panels in here. I haven't really played with everything, but I'm gonna show you everything that I know as of now. So if I go into the simulation view, I can just go ahead and, let's go ahead and snap it to the window beneath it. And let me try that one more time, there we go. And you're gonna see, this is the first thing that I saw. I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, this is a house. And what can I do with this house? And then I started playing around with some of these settings. So Unity has all these options. You can look at different sizes, depending on where you want to run the simulation. In my case, I wanted to you know, test out and see how this will look in a room. So you can look at you know, how a room will look like. Let's say that your room, it's about that size. So I would try that in that simulation and see how the simulation works. You can also try, you know, there's many of them in here. I can also do a bedroom that is, let's see, that's about 20, yeah, 20 feet by 14. I can also do a dining room. If you wanna test that in a dining room, you may have a specific use case to do that. And it also tells you here that the current scene cannot be simulated. You need to add the Mars session to the scene in order for this to work. And we're gonna do it in a different way. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. But I just wanna show you some of the different rooms that are available. You can also, you also have a couple of buttons in here. This one, you can start recording a session. You can start the simulation. You can pass the simulation. You can resync the simulation. And you can also look at the settings. So some of them, if you don't want to desaturate the environment, you can use, or if you want to desaturate the environment, you can enable it. If you want to disable the X-ray mode, you can look at, you know, without the X-ray. That way you can see everything, including the walls. The same thing, if I look at the dining room, you can see the column here. If I don't have the the X-ray the X-ray turn on, say that I want to turn on, so that goes away. And if we go into the museum, so this is a really cool environment. I can also I can also you know toggle the the actual X-ray, so you can see the walls and the glasses. Really cool museum. And then I can also you know go ahead and toggle it back, and let's go ahead and change this back to the saturated environment. I think it looks it looks good that way. And I'm gonna go back into let's go ahead and go into a basic a basic bedroom. So the other things that we can also do here, let's say that we want to find out how plane detection works in here or how point cloud works. 
So as it, it stays here, we need to add what's called a Mars session. And to do that, I'm going to right click here and then go into Mars and then just select one of the options, which is going to be Mars session. So that's going to take the camera, it's going to convert it, it's going to structure everything correctly. And now you can see that we have, you know, this play button is accessible. We also have this resync if we wanted to restart everything. And, but we don't have anything, there's really nothing that we can do yet. All, all, all we can do is just basically have a session. So let's say that we want to see how plane detection works. So all we really need to do is right click here, go into Mars, and then we have data visualizers that we can use. We can use a plane visualizer. We can also use a point cloud and also light estimation. So this wasn't available before. We had to always build to the device. And that was one of the things that I always got complaints about. It's like, Dilmer, how do I test my experiences? There's really no easy way to test them. So this is a great, great way to test it. So I'm just going to select the plane visualizer. And you can see that as soon as I do that, there are planes everywhere. And if we look at this component, this is very sim similar to what I did in AR Foundation and how I show you to create a visualizer, very similar, except that we couldn't see it in the editor. The other cool thing that we also have in here in the plane visualizer is we can also mark, basically make an edge. So if we wanted to make an edge, you can see the edges in here, which is something that we didn't have before. I can also change the width. So if I wanted to change this to a higher number, I can do, you know, 0.9 or we can do, you know, much higher number, we can do one, and then you can change the edge as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to what we had. We also had an edge repeat distance that you can use as well. I haven't really used that. Let's try that. And we can also make this one maybe about 0.9. So there we go. So those, those are some of the options that you have for the edges. I'm just gonna uncheck it. I don't wanna see the edges. And then if you uncheck this one, you don't see you know, the actual geometry. So in this case, you can still see everything. It's really clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and enable it. I think I like how that looks better. So let's see that we want to, in this case, this just simulated the room, how the planes will get detected in this room. So if I hit play, I can also, I can actually play it and see how it's going to look as I am walking through the, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my right mouse click and I'm gonna use AWD to basically go around the room. And you're gonna see that as soon as I move around, the planes are getting generated, which is, which is really incredible though, because this is something that you can now test. You can you know, have different art. Let's say that you want to create a different type of room with a different bed or different environment. Now you can test it completely without having to rely on running this on the device, which you still have to do, but this gives you more confidence about you know going through the concept creation, creating 3D assets, and then making sure that your experiences are gonna work. So let's go ahead and test something else. I'm gonna go back. And let's say that we want to also use point cloud. So in this case, I only have the plane visualizer, so I can also go into Mars. I can go into data visualizer, and I can use the point cloud visualizer. And this one also has options, so if you wanna change the color, this one is low confidence color, it's gonna be red. The high confidence color is going to be green. So I can also do hit play and let's see how this is going to look. And I'm going to go ahead and hold my right mouse click again and I'm going to start walking. So hopefully you can see there's, you know, small dots showing and they're very small, but you can see that the point cloud is actually working fine. And I can go around and you guys can see. So what if I wanted to test this in a different room, right? That's, that's the cool feature about, well, many features that this has. And I'm gonna just try a different room. Let's see the kitchen, looks like that one is drawing fine. I think it might be the, the other area is too big or I'm just being impatient, but let's try a different setup. Let's try this one right here. It looks like everything is syncing correctly. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And as I'm starting to walk around, so I can see the point clouds, so you can see them across. You can also see that the, you know, the actual planes are getting generated as I'm walking around. So let's see if the table gets, there we go. So the planes are getting generated just fine. So the other thing that you can also do that I thought was really, really cool is they have templates as well. So in this case, I'm using the sample scene just to show you, you know, all the different options that you can, you can use under Mars. There are presets that you can set, different, you know, floor, horizontal planes, vertical planes, forces that you can apply you know, different proxy objects that you can have in your scene and basically they're going to be proxying to the environment that you're simulating. This is a session and then the proxy objects themselves and then data visualizers. And this is something that I still haven't looked at. 
So let's go ahead and look at the templates and go into Mars. And then we can look at, there is a template option, so you can click on choose template. And in this one, I'm just gonna select, looks like they have one for face mask, a blank, miniature, and also the tabletop. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the tabletop and let's see what happens, right? So if I go here, you can see that there is a table right here. There's also these indicators and those are, I believe those are proxy objects. So if I go here where it says set, we go into our scene view, you're gonna see that there is an actual object in here that is getting proxy to the environment, which is in the Mars session, the actual simulator. We can actually click in here and you can see that you're gonna see some proxy. There's a proxy script, it has a color. If we change this color, you can see that the color of the proxy object changes as well. We can also click in here in simulation and if we go into the simulation view, you can see that that gets selected. And, and this is me not knowing much about these guys. I am learning as, you know, as I'm looking at some of these options. I can also look at, in this case, I'm looking at all different options. I can look at conditions. I can look at actions and then forces. And some of the settings, let me click in here and then I can also look at basically different rules. I think I looked at the table before and I thought it was really, really cool because I could actually add conditions. So if I click on this edit condition and we go in here, I believe is that it was showing. Let me see if that, that works. And comparison in simulation view, there we go. So the cool thing with this is I can see, see how we set a condition of 0.5 to 0.5, that was the minimum size. And if I select this, this area, it shows me that the plane size passes 100% 100, 100 the alignment as well. So that means that this proxy object is going to fit in this table because of the rules that we're telling Mars to have. So if we didn't have this data, we wouldn't really know if the objects that we're creating in AR are going to work with environment, right? So with this, you can run many simulations and find out exactly if this is gonna work and where is it gonna work, if it's not gonna work in certain areas. So this is really, really powerful, guys. So the other thing that I wanted to show you is let's go back into window and let's go into Mars. And let's click on simulation. I think it was simulation test runner. Yeah, this, this was amazing. So let's go ahead and snap it to the very bottom. You guys are gonna like this. So in this case, I'm testing one room, right? And we can go ahead and toggle here and look at different rooms, which is really powerful. I think this is, you know, they actually did an amazing job on here. But what if I wanted to simulate in multiple environments and get different snapshots as I'm changing the rules, I can click on, you know what? I want to simulate this on a one by one environment or either a four by three. Let's go ahead and do one by one and then I can click on simulate. So this is gonna run that simulation through every single one of the rooms that I have set up with that, basically with that tag. You can see here, I can I can actually see the cube. It's using the, the in this case it's just a cube, but you can use, you know, more complicated AR content, like if you wanted to put it in there and see how it would look in a factory. I can also click in here and look at my results. I can look at this one, I can look at this one. I really like this view because it gives me a snapshot of what I wanna look at, right? Like in this case, I can I can actually put that object inside, you know, on top of that, that actual chair. I can look in this area and then you're gonna start getting a better idea of, you know, where you're counting it's gonna fit well and where is it not gonna fit well. I can also go back here and say, you know what? I want to go into this one, I want to hit play and I want to see how this environment, you know, the actual object that I have fits in this, in this actual room. So let's go ahead and go back. And I can start looking, start going around and we can go and walk around. And you know, that there's all my point clouds in there. Also my, my planes got detected and just very powerful stuff. And I know that this is not going to be a detailed video, but I really wanted to get you, you know, into it and, and so that you understand how this works. I'm gonna go into more in depth as I'm learning, you know, as I learn more about this process. But if you guys have additional questions about these, please let me know in the comments and I'm hoping to compile those, those questions and then create new videos. Thank you guys. All right guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about the application that I just showed you, which is called Unity Mars, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much guys.